please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to, y'all can't see me because of this, the trees. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Y'all probably wonder why the heck am I like this? Because I got y'all on a, um, a um, stand because I got to do this by myself. Maybe somebody will come out and help me. The car's making noise, but we about to get this thing popping. So this is what we're using. We are going to be, we're using this. I got this from Hobby Lobby, it was $1.99. We're using this bleach. I got this. This is not the same poly acrylic thing. I know people wonder. It's not. Um, this is Clorox bleach. And then we're using these Heather Gilgan shirts. Y'all can't hear me. It's too much noise. I'm going to have to record this in house. Okay, so I didn't re record it. We just going to be raw and real today. Y'all know how we do. So these, this is my setup, okay? These are shirts. Just a fair warning, this gray is heavy cotton and it's 50-50. So, we're going to see how that one turned out. The rest of them are all Heather um, Gildan shirts, soft style. And they are 65% poly and 35% cotton. Like I said, minus the gray. Here I am just showing you what I'm using again. Y'all, I was so excited. <laughs> Okay, like so excited, and my mom is recording me here. So shout out to my mama. Um, I'm gonna put her in front of the camera today. Uh, ignore the bushes, ignore the grass. It is cold outside, but we are getting this together. So I'm just showing you how I'm putting the last shirt on, and we are gonna spray this thing. This is in the evening. It's about um seven o'clock. Excuse. Me. It's about 7 o'clock, and I am just um, getting everything ready, okay? So, I'm going to spray. Y'all see the sun is actually coming down. The sun set, so I'm telling her how to uh, <laughs> record <laughs> so she could get everything. So, yeah. So, we're going to spray this thing. I literally have no idea at this particular point what I'm putting on the shirts, I don't know anything. I don't, I'm just spraying. So this time I'm actually spraying first. So some people sublimate first. I'm spraying first. And then I may do another one where I sublimate first and we can see which one looks better. Okay. So here I'm just spraying. Um, I got this bottle from the dollar store. It is not the same bottle, spray bottle that I use for the polycrylic. So if people are wondering, it is not. It's a brand new bottle. I bought multiple ones. Um, I'll try different bottles too because I'm learning that different spray bottles give different results. So I'm going to try different spray bottles, a bunch of different things. So I'm just spraying. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um... But I'm spraying it around and just trying to see. So I'm going to show y'all. And the only reason why I'm not going to fast forward is because a lot of times people ask. So the last time I sprayed something, the video didn't record. And people are like, well, how much did you put? So I'm not even going to fast forward. Y'all going to get all these sprays so y'all can see exactly how I did it. So then when you see the results, you'll see the comparison. Like I said, I have no rhyme or reason where I'm spraying. I know I'm trying to put it in the middle, some at the tops. Whatever. So we're just going to go ahead and spray this everywhere. I did not want to put too much because I've heard that if you put too much, uh, people have put it in a washing machine and dryer or just wash machine and it actually ripped. So I want to put enough, but not too much. So I'm hoping this is enough. If you have made this before, let me know if I should have put more. Um, so yeah, so if you made this before, please, I'm open for all types of tips and suggestions. Y'all know me. Help us to style. I just want to get better. So let me know. Um, once again, of course, this is my first time doing this because y'all know a lot of times my first time is on camera. So we're just spraying it around. Recap the t-shirt forms I got for Hobby Lobby for $1.99. The shirts are Gildan shirts, soft style, Heather 
um, except for the gray. The gray is a heavy blend 50-50 cotton shirt. So we're going to see if that one works. But all the other shirts are Heather Soft Style, 65% polyester, 35% cotton. All right. So it is, uh, the sun is out, but it is cold. It's about 46 degrees um, when we did that. But um, that, and you see, this is in March. So you see the grass is not, so if you're watching this years later, it's cold. The grass hasn't even bloomed or blossomed. Y'all, these alarms not about to keep coming off in the middle of my video. But anywho, um... So, yeah, so a lot of times people say, well, can it be done when it's cold? Look, I'm y'all, when I say I was hype, I'm, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Look, I'm like, I don't even know. All right. Oh, my mom and my daughter wanted to get in. And I don't know why my daughter don't have her coat on. And look at her looking like Punky Brewster. She sat there. She had her uh, snow boots still on. It's no snow, but she like wearing it, so I let her do what she does. Her and my mom acting silly. This is where I get it from. We all like this. And don't be putting our thumbs out because my family, and I did not make that shirt. Look at it. I said, close that up. I said, don't be showing that shirt. People going to think I made it. I did not make her shirt. Um, But they wanted to get into action. My video is not, my channel is not a regular channel, y'all. So if y'all think it's just going to be one way, it's all types of things on this channel, okay? But yes, that's my mommy and my daughter. Okay, back to these shirts. Okay, so I have the correct colors. That pinkish color is Heather Berry adult unisex soft style shirt that bluish color is heather galapagos blue and then the orange is regular old heather orange okay so heather galapagos blue heather berry and heather orange and then that's just um a gilded gray shirt okay well it's probably a heather gray but it's heavy style um all right so this has been about 10 to 15 minutes for the shirts. This is the progress. All right, y'all. So it's been 20 minutes. That one's getting it. But these are not turning like how I want. I guess it's taking, and you can see the sun going down just a little bit. It's coming just a little bit. I see it coming. So we got to just give it some more time. Maybe I'll flip it over. What's up with the orange? What's going on, orange? Y'all, this is my first time. Y'all know how I am. This will look like it's going to be good once it actually turns. We going to see. This one ain't turning at all. I just tried this one. I didn't know if this one was even going to turn. So I think I might flip them over. Maybe in a couple more minutes. I don't know. Clorox bleach is the bleach I use. Oh, but now we got action. I'm seeing it change a little bit. Oh, yeah. This one still ain't changing. This one probably not going to change, I guess. 50-50 versus... Soft style. Okay. So this one not changing. This one is heavy cotton. It's not changing. Okay, so now I'm going to flip them over. They're turned enough. So I'm going to flip them over and spray some more. Just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. I guess this is good as it's going to get, y'all. Hmm. Ah, that one ain't work at all. I'm going to wash it and see what happens. But I guess that's... I guess... Okay. Okay, I guess. Uh, we going to see. All right, y'all. Let's take it in and wash it and see what happens. Okay. It's late. Let's get this stuff together. Okay, so, I look a mess, whatever. So this shirt, it didn't work at all. Literally, don't look like I sprayed anything on it. This was a heavy cotton, 50 cotton, 50 polyester. So this is a 50-50 heavy cotton. It didn't work. I just 
try it at the last minute. That wasn't part of the plan, but y'all know me, I'm always doing something. Okay. So this one didn't work. It was trash. Didn't work. Okay. So this is a Gildan soft style, 65% polyester, 35% cotton. And I'm not really, it seemed like other people's was, was better than this. It was like whiter than this. I don't know. It's cute, but it don't look like it took, and I didn't put a lot on the back. I only put a little on the back. It, it don't look like it took as much as some people. So this was a one, um, dang, what is this color? I may put it on the bottom. I forget what color it is, but the I'll say just pink for right now. This orange seemed like it didn't really take at all. And it's the soft style. These are the Heather colors too, so I don't really know. Well, no one there looked like it took a little bit. It took a little bit. Not as much as I would have thought. But it took, and it was out there for like an hour. So, no, it wasn't out there. Yeah, it was out there for like an hour. Okay, here's the other pink one. It's a different color. I got these from Jiffy. So, I'll tell you what the real color is. They look cute, though. And like I said, I didn't do a lot on the back. I'm going to do these again, just so y'all know. When, I don't know. But they cute. But they just didn't. They wasn't hitting, right? And then this one was really cute. So this one turned out good, but I could have put more right there. So really quickly, I'm just going to show you I'm in silhouette. This is where I printed it out. For this girl, the width was 10.822, the height 10.354. For this image, the oh, come on. The width was 10.035, the height 9.890. For this pretty girl here, the width was 8.942, the height 12.024. And last, but certainly not least, gang gang, this was <laughs> um, 10.084 and width and height 10.011. All right. Yep. So those are the measurements. So let me, I showed you what the images are. So let me grab them. And then we can start crushing. So I don't know how this is going to look on the pink, but this one's going on the pink. She's so cute. This one's going on the pink. And y'all know me, I normally, I put them up under the heat press for a minute. This one's going on the orange. And TV mine is so cute with the leopard. And this one is going on the like turquoise. I'll put what the real colors are. All right. Libra gang gang. So, with a Libra let's set. get to pressing and see how they turn out. I think I want to do this one first. So let's see. It was late, but look at my mood. I was so nervous and I was so sad because I'm like, this is not turning out right. <laughs> So we're going to move everything out the way and get this popping.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set the shirt up. Now, I call these my, um, what's the name? I say the name later on. So, these shirts are not perfect, right? They're not perfect on purpose, so I don't have to do as extensive as my measuring and all different things like that. I'm just going to put it where the, um where the design is i have my butcher paper that's my craft butcher paper i got that from amazon link down below and i'm putting it on the bottom of my heat press to protect the heat press at the bottom i'm putting it in between the shirt to protect it from bleeding into the other side of the shirt um and then i'm gonna go ahead and um put it on my heat press and get this thing popping so yeah so that's just me setting up if you've never done sublimation before I'm so sad I just don't know why I didn't get like how I wanted it to I'm so sad I just don't know why I didn't get like how I wanted it to I didn't get as you know right as I would have wanted it to so I don't know why so we have the butcher paper on the bottom butcher paper in the middle we put it on our papers. we have it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds And then we're going to put the butcher paper on top. Alright, now let's see what it is. Alright. So we can't use this again. Let's see how it turned out. talk for two seconds let me turn it around hold up y'all we gotta talk real talk i was so disappointed i thought it did not do this right i'm like it didn't turn out right i did everything right like y'all look at this y'all i'm geeked i'm so geeked i was so sad for real for real it looks so good. Do y'all see that? Let me see. Look at that, y'all. I did not think it was going to come out right. Oh, my goodness. I'm so geek, y'all. I was sad. I was legit sad. Oh. Okay, okay. Now I'm geeked to see the other one. I was legit like, I did everything right. Why did it work? Like a little crabby. Okay. All right. Let's do these other ones. <sighs> I'm so cute. So let's see. Which one I'm going to do next? I'm so cute right now. I don't know which one I'm going to do next. Which one should I do? Hmm. Let me do one of these pinks. Um, that ain't pink. Let me do one of these pinks. Hmm. Okay. I think I'll do this one next. Alright, I'm just about to cut all of these. Let's see here. I put these on the tabloid 11 by 17 paper. We just gonna cut all of them.
look like it too. I'm gonna reveal it so y'all can see. Let's take a look and see how it looks. just made my night. I was like, look, my parents was all looking at it, my daughter, everybody was like, well, how did it turn out? This is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, this is the bomb. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so happy. I hope y'all can see this. I might just call me butter because I'm on the road. I'm so excited. Let's just knock these other ones out. See how they turn out. Oh, I got so many ideas now. You literally can see it through. <laughs> Y'all, I'm legit like so happy, like a bread or something. Look how pretty that is. I am so happy. Oh, I got so many ideas. My brain is just going. This is so cute. It's adorable. Y'all, 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 do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Yes, she's so cute. And I could use a different one. I was trying to get like a pink. So if it didn't work, it would kind of like blend in. So I was trying to keep it, you know what I'm saying? But it worked. Last one. And there's nothing on here. Nothing. So that's why I'm reusing it. Typically, I wouldn't reuse it, but because this is like the grungy, whatever, you know, we just yell on it. call these my not so perfect tees. I like that because y'all know I'm a I need stuff to be perfect and, and I like this because it doesn't have to be so perfect so I'm gonna call them my not so perfect tees. I like that. I kind of want you to see all the detail on it. See all the detail on it? And my not so perfect tees. Now, somebody saying that, I never heard of them. I just made that up right there. Because it's not so perfect. But you know, sometimes stuff don't need to be perfect, right? Sometimes the stuff that's not so perfect is the best stuff, right? Come on. Fly, fly, oh well. Y'all so lucky, I don't know how to sing. It would be bad, big time, bad, baby, if I knew how to sing. All right, this is the last one, y'all. Last call. Well, 
with my not so perfect tees. So next time I would, of course, try to just make all of that. But it's still cute. I'm still happy with it. I thought I did not know it was going to turn out like that. Y'all. I'm good. I'm so happy. Okay. All right. Give me two seconds. Let me gather myself. All right, I just wanted to show you guys a closer look at each of the shirts so you can see all the detail in it. You see the um, ink. This is Cosmo ink. It turned out super, super good. Um, they look really cute. I can't wait to wash them and see if they look a little grungy or if they fade or however that works. But I'm very, very um, happy with the outcome of it. Y'all know I was, I was, y'all, I was like scared. So I'm really happy with it. This one turned out so cute. All of them turned out cute, but I don't know. This one just, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's nostalgic or something, but I absolutely love them all. I'm so happy with them. Look how vibrant the colors are. Yes, come through. And then I had to put this one on. Gang, gang, Libra gang, gang. I just love the way it looks. And I love the not so perfect tees because everyone is different. And that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have not already, please join my Facebook group, Queen Dreamer. Um, if y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. I love y'all. Did y'all know that? Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that these turned out right. But, um, yeah, please comment, like, share. Go ahead. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And um, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. And remember, there are some people who live in a dream world. And then there are some who face reality. And then there are those who turn one into the other. Word to Douglas H. Everett. And make sure y'all subscribing. Are y'all subscribing? Y'all know we still on that road to 10K subscribers, right? That road to 10,000 subscribers. We are currently at 6,427, y'all. Share these videos. Like these videos. Subscribe. All right. Thank y'all. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.